We now look at the area of numbers and particularly the area of truncating and rounding. When do you do both or either? Numbers can often be expressed as close to their significant digits. So you say, how much money do you have? You might say, I have about a tenner or I have a fiver. You don't say, I have five euro and eleven cent. So we look at that and we say, 497 could be something around 500. And we're used to that. And it involves bringing numbers to their significant digits. So, for example, we might look at the number 3.64 there and say, it's roughly 4. Or 17.2 is roughly 17. Or minus 4.56 is minus 5. So when we round values, positive or negative, we round them to the nearest integer value. So the nearest integer value on the number line for minus 4.56 It's nearer to minus 5 than it is to minus 4, hence we call it that way. So rounding can result in an increase, in this case an increase that's bigger than that, or a decrease. Truncating values is when you cut out the last bit. So 3.6, 17.2 and minus 4.56, we can truncate those numbers there. 3.6 will be just 3. 17.2 would be 17, and minus 4.56 would be minus 4. The example here is truncating is the equivalent of rounding towards zero. So you're all the time coming back towards zero. So even though you're beyond halfway to minus 5 there, you still call it minus 4. We're asked here to look at significant digits, and we have an answer here, 23.67345. You often get a number on your calculator that's got too many decimal places in it. So you want to sort it out. And it says, will you just make that six significant digits rather than five? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven digits there. So you might say, well, you know, point, instead of four, five, we might just say four. 23.6734. If I wanted to go to one less digit than that, three, four would be rounded to three. 7.3 would be rounded to 7. And 6.7 is nearly 0. 0.7. 0. 0.67 is nearly 0. 0.70 as opposed to 0. 0.60. It's only 3 away from 0. 0.7, but 7 away from 0. 0.6. So that's 23.7. 23.7 is nearly 24. And 24, if you're only left with one digit, 24 versus 23, if you only one digit, you'd say it's nearer 20 than it is 30. So you'd say it's 20 or 2 to the power, 2 by 10 to the 1. So that's the way you do it. So if we look at that then in terms of the digits, that's how we represent that. So it might say calculate the expression or the value of the expression below, 165.7 plus that divided by this. So we add the two numbers on the top and we get 210.51. They're of the same sort of order. We have two decimal places here, so we have two decimal places here, and 132 by 10 to the 5. Well, 132 by 10 to the 5 is means that we take the, this number and move it five places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 132,000 there. We multiply the two by, that divided by that and we get 0.001594772. But that's a bit of a mess. We'd like to simplify that. And we say, how much do we have to move to, break, to have the dot in between the first and the second? So one, two, three places. That would give us there 0.00159. Three places would be that by 10 to the minus 3. Because if we take one and we multiply by... 1,000. We also have to divide by 1,000. This gives us this number on the top, the 1.59, and on the bottom, 10 to the 3 on the bottom, or 10 to the minus 3 on the top. So that's how we represent that, and that's our significant digits.